I think that there are a lot of questions that get asked of women that are different than questions that are asked of men. Amongst them is this question around work-life balance. Women almost all the time get asked this question around work-life balance, and we almost rarely ask that men, men that same question. And so what I would like to see is not that the question stop being asked, because I think it's really important information to hear how people are coping and juggling all these ways of life, but I think we need to ask the question every single time of every single person. So men need to be asked it at the same level, because then we can have a real conversation conversation of the different levels of supports that are going on out there. So women bring to the workforce very different traits than men do, and we know this to be true, and I think it's really caused by socialization. I think women are, uh, are introduced very young in age uh, about what they're, what, how to be empathetic and, and to own their feelings and to step forward and ask questions and to encourage people to, to address uh, issues. I think that's changing, though. I think we have, you know, I think we are going to be seeing a bit more of the changes. We've recognized that we don't want to socialize children into the gender binaries that have been put out there for them and so you know how do we address that you know treating children more equally allowing children uh, young boys to own their feelings and to cry when they are hurt, their feelings are hurt or they have been hurt um, allowing young uh, girls to feel strong and own who they are and not have to fit into societal norms in both ways I think we're, we're going to be changing that and I think we're changing that and that's really uh, ger generational right the generations have started to change more men are home raising their children, more women are in the workforce. Those dynamics in and of themselves are socializing and changing the world that we see. Yeah, so this is a really interesting time that we're in, the fact that we are on the cusp of having our first female president. And I think what this has done is it's really raised the level of awareness for people to see that there still really is heightened levels of sexism um, and uh, uh, patriarchy going on in our society that we just hadn't talked about in a long time. Everybody assumed that we had gotten this far and there was no more. There was full equality going on, full equity going on, and women were just making it up. And what I think this election cycle has taught us is that there are a lot of people out there that still hold uh, very detrimental beliefs to f reaching levels of full equality. We have to hold them accountable, and now that we know who they are and where they are, we need to actually hold them accountable, change the narrative, inform the process and then um, make sure that we are doing everything we can to, um, to make sure that those voices don't uh, rise up and drown out those of the voices of, of the people that are you know, looking and working for full equality, looking to really create a much more social, political, and economic equality in the world, those that are striving for um, better, better gender balance in what we're trying to do. Fantastic. Thank you.